Hi everybody, um, this is a quick video tutorial on the new Windows Movie Maker. This is done by Windows and it was just released uh, recently with um, Windows 7 along with Windows 7 and actually it came out a couple couple weeks before that. But um, what I want to do is show you how to get to it first of all and uh, if you want to learn how to uh, edit video then this is a quick way to get started with some basic basic video editing. So um, first thing you want to do to download this is go to download.live.moviemaker and that will take you to this page right here. And Once you get to that page then you can uh, uh, choose a language if it's other than English and choose download. What's going to happen when you hit this download button is it's going to try and install all these other programs. So if you don't want any of this other stuff then uh, do not select it as you go through the install but um, the one we're looking for in particular is this one right here and it's Windows Live Movie Maker so go ahead and hit download and install go ahead and pause this tape or uh, pause this video until um, you've got that installed and then we'll continue okay so hopefully you have uh, Windows Live Movie Maker installed and what I'm gonna do is show you how to use it um, what you're going to start off with is a pretty much a blank screen. Um, what I did initially to set this up was to go up to the options up on top here and um, choose my aspect ratio. Uh, let me try and find it again. Ah, there it is. It's under view and aspect ratio. And what I did is I chose widescreen rather than 4x3. Um, if your video is 4x3, choose 4x3. If it's not, then go with widescreen. Um, today what we're going to do is show a quick little demo of, of um, you know, some, some material that Microsoft has delivered with their new Windows 7 product. And it's just a little piece of sample video that I'm going to show you. And I'm just going to use that to walk through how to edit video. So a um, few ways to, before I get to that, the, there's a few ways to... Uh, um, bring video in. Um, the first one is to have a folder open and then you can simply drag and drop it right into this little window here and it'll show up there. The next thing to do or that you can do is to click on this add videos and photos window and that will bring up uh, a file window where you can go and find whatever um, wherever your video files are. Um, in this case I'm going to use a Windows uh, a file that was installed with Windows 7 um, and this is just a little HD video clip to show how video works within Windows 7 and how it's that much greater than uh, everything else you've ever seen so um, what I'm gonna do is just open it up for you so you can see what it looks like um, if you have um, Windows 7 then you can go to the path that I just showed you and it's probably located there um, which would be under my computer local disk if it's C users public public videos and sample videos um, this one is called wildlife if you want to you do a simple search for um, wildlife and see if that's installed on your computer but if not you can use any old video then and uh, do the same sorry do the same things that I'm going to show you today so um, so what happens here is we've gone ahead and brought this video into Windows uh, Movie Maker, Windows Live Movie Maker, and I'm going to just hit play here and show you how this works. Okay, so what we have is a, is a clip. It looks like about a 30 second clip. Um, quite a few little quick cuts in here as well as uh, music that overlays over the top of it. For right now, we're not going to worry about the music. I go up here. To edit. And we're going to choose video volume and we're going to choose none on that. We're going to just fade it all the way down. And the reason we're going to do that is because when we cut it up, the audio is going to sound really strange and we're going to move things around a little bit. So we don't want the audio getting in our way. If we want to add audio later, we can do that. But for right now, let's not. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, um, or the next thing I'm going to do is to copy this video clip. And I can do it, um, I'm going to do it with the mouse at this point. Um, you can do, of course, um, control copy, control 
paste, which is control C, control V, or you could simply, um, rather than to right click on the mouse, well, you can right click on the mouse and choose copy, or you can hold down your control key and click and drag, and that will also create another copy of it. Um, what I want to make sure is that when we copy this piece that the video volume always stays at zero because I don't want to mess with that later. Um, so all I'm going to do right now is to make a few copies of this video here so that we can start cutting them down. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the control key. I'm going to hold down the control key, click and drag, and do it again. Click and drag, and one more time, click and drag. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, take a look at this video, and what, we, what we're going to do is trim this video so that it only contains the piece of video from the very start sequence, and I believe that's the horses, so I'm going to back this up to the very beginning here, and the way we do that, um, we go, um, well, to start editing this video, what you want to do is select it, and then choose Trim Tool. And that's going get to get us to this little interface here and allow us to choose a start point and an end point for this piece of video. Um, you can see that it's um, already, you know, it looks like seven or eight seconds into it. If I back it up to the very beginning, I'm just clicking and dragging this over. I'm going to start to play it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's the start of the horses. And I'm going to just back it up frame by frame until I get to the front of it. And hit set start point. Once I choose the start point, I'm going to hit play. And just going to take it to the end of that section. So I'm going to get where it's close and then back it up frame by frame by frame by frame by frame. And there's the ending frame. What I'm going to do at this point is choose set end point. Once I do that, then it makes this 30 second video, this clip right up here, it makes it 4 seconds instead of 30 seconds because all we're doing is cutting a little piece right here so that we only have that first clip. Once I do that, I'm going to hit Save Trim, and that's going to give me that video all by itself. So if I hit Play there, you'll see no audio and out, right? Um, next thing I'm going to do is the same thing with this video. I'm going to take this to the second. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is select it, and then hit Trim Tool, and it'll bring up the video again. And what we're going to do is find where the horses stop and the birds begin. And I'm just clicking to go back frame by frame here. Um, probably important to know that there are 30 frames per second, so... Um, Notice that I was doing a lot of clicking there. Okay, so I think we're pretty close. Okay, so there's the start point. And we're going to hit play. And there's the end point. Set end point and save trim. Okay, so that gives us our first two clips, and let's go ahead and do it with this one as well. So I'm going to take this, uh, once again, select it, um, trim tool, and we're going to get approximately to the point that we want. Um, all right, so there are the um, seals or sea lions, maybe. We're just going to back it up. Okay, so there's the start point. And back that up forward. And set endpoint and then save trim.